at the beginning of creation when God made male and female, God continues to do that, to make male and female and to give them to each other. And so a part of God's plan was the creation of John and the creation of Caitlin. And then he has put them together and brought them together in the true Eden, which is the church. Me and Caitlin are about six years apart, give or take. I was raised in New York and Caitlin was raised here in Florida. So building a relationship was kind of tough. Although our amazing grandparents, Mimi and Pop, kept us together for family vacations and gatherings. Although around two years ago, I happened to move here. Since then, Caitlin has truly become one of my absolute best friends. So Caitlin was like an answered prayer for the John of old. While John was as awesome as he was, she compliments him in every way and has made him much more empathetic and even more caring of those around him. It's been such a blessing to see such a wonderful human end up with John. They both keep such busy schedules with work and extracurriculars, and they barely have a minute in the day free. But despite all this chaos and distractions, we'll take the last few days as distractions with the late nights and all that. Above all, you've only grown stronger, and your relationship shows it, culminating today. You're both guided by your deep faith in Christ, and you two are both great stewards for the Catholic faith, and we're lucky to have both of you. Beautiful. You ready? Caitlin is strong physically, spiritually, and as I look at her, just absolutely beautiful. Caitlin, you are the whole package, as they say. And now you have found this amazing man, the kindest, sweetest person in the world. John cares about others more than himself. He's selfless. And now a protector, serving the Altamont Springs community and our country as an Army National Guard member. You are an amazing aspect to this family. You treat Caitlin with kindness, loyalty, respect, and love. Thank you for being the best man my baby cousin could ever find. Hi. Hello. Am I? Yeah. Am I good? Yeah. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. You ready? You look so good. So do you. Thank you. You, you ready? Is it? Help me. Are they married? Yes. John, are you at this stage? You know. Kiss your bride, John. It's okay. Yes, go. <laughs> So as I look at these two beautiful, faithful people before us today, I know that their future is so bright, filled with hope, especially in and for our faith. I wish you both an endless life of happiness and health. Caitlin, thank you for giving me a new cousin and making me a part of this beautiful day. So we hope
I can't wait to see what the future has in store. So I'd like to propose the final toast of the night, Bree. I don't even know my glasses. The final toast of the night. So we'll raise our glasses to John and Caitlin. I love both of you. Whatever you guys need ever, I'll always be here. God bless the both of you and congratulations. So we hope